Hi, Alan Stratton from Aswood Turns. This year's Christmas Ornament Wood Turning Challenge is off and running. A lot of great stuff. I wanted to make an inside out ornament. Now, I've made one before, but I wanted this one to be different. This one will be made of three pieces of wood instead of four. So, it should be easy, right? Just three pieces instead of four? Well, not quite. The angles are 120 degrees or 60 degrees instead of 90, and it's a little bit of a challenge. So, I'm going to pre do this video in two parts. First will be the inside out ornament, where you put three blocks of wood together, fasten them tightly, turn a hollow, the which turns out to be the inside of this ornament, then flip it around, take the blocks apart, flip them around, put them back together again, this time permanently, and then turn the outside of the ornament. That's when these turn into very fragile and sharp knife edges cutting a lot of area in between and a little bit difficult to do, but still fun, still very appropriate for the wood turning challenge. In a second video, I'll make the Christmas tree that I put inside and the finial for the bottom. But for now, let's make an inside out three piece Christmas ornament. I started by ripping three pieces of walnut since this is a three-piece inside out, the angles are 60 and 120 degrees. Now I've laid them out with tape to guide them together. I'm trying to use hot melt glue for the temporary bond. Then, since I don't completely trust hot melt with spinning wood, I'll leave the band clamps in place while I turn it. But I'll have to duct tape the loose ends down. In a normal turning, I'd rough turn the entire length. For inside out, I will only turn the area that I want to be on the inside. This is very hard for me to visualize how the shape will turn out once inverted back around into the inside. I have to be careful to cut at an angle. This is especially difficult on the flat area I want to be at the bottom. But my trusty gouge at the correct angle does the trick. I'll clean up with a round nose scraper and my skew. Then carefully sand this area as there will not be a chance to do it later. And finish it with shellac friction polish. Now it's time to turn the staves around and glue them together. I've taped off the finished surfaces and carefully trimmed the edges of the tape. I want to be able to remove any glue squeeze out with the tape, but just in case I'll use white glue to glue these together. Then at least any squeeze out will be transparent. Then remove the tape while the glue is still fluid. Now I'll leave the band clamps in place while I turn tenons on the ends. With the wood still in the chuck, the jaws will hold it together and I feel safer removing the band clamps. Easy does it now around the hollowed area. These edges are both sharp and fragile. Since these are so fragile, I'm reinforcing the thin wood with CA glue. With the ornament turning out at the size it is, I'm worried about how to finish both ends of the ornament. But I've turned a small tenon on the top end and mounted that in the chuck to address the bottom end. Then carefully sand. To protect my hands and to avoid uneven sanding, I'm using sandpaper backed with a flat piece of plywood to sand the 
thin sides. Then up through the grits before finishing with friction polish. Next I'm drilling a mount hole for the bottom finial and trimming the area around where it will be mounted. I should have drilled this hole earlier and used it to center the wood. For the top finial, this will be formed from the remaining wood on the main turning. It is short. I'll drill a hole for a hanger later. For the bottom finial, I'll use a pen blank in my long neck jaws. My tool of choice here is my smaller skew. With the skew, I'll both rough it and shape it. Then sand, finish, and part it off. And finally, a tree for inside the ornament. This is a lot like my tree of a couple of weeks ago, only smaller. Here again, my tool of choice is my smaller skew after roughing it with a spindle gouge. Then establish the tree height to fit the ornament. Then shape the trunk and foliage with the skew and sand and finish the tree. Assembly is gluing the tree inside the ornament, going on the bottom finial and hanger. And my inside out ornament is finished. This one is on the large size, but still okay. It is still tough for me to estimate how much to remove with the inside turning. It's tough to visualize. I'm pleased with the number of ornaments submitted to this year's Christmas Ornament Challenge. There's quite a variety for all of us to enjoy, and there's still time for more. Let's see yours! If you have not already subscribed, please subscribe to both my website and YouTube channel. Always wear your face shield. Don't wait to be convinced by a chunk of wood. Until next time, this is Alan Stratton from As Wood Turns.